That was the scene last night in New York City. Thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators disrupting New Year's Eve celebrations. They also chanted in support of the Iranian aggression in the Red Sea. One demonstrator set off a red smoke bomb inside Macy's. The protests were no surprise to the NYPD, who were on heightened alert for disruptions. Joining me now is Avi Hyman, spokesperson for the Israeli government. Avi, welcome. Thank you. Hi, Mike. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me on again. Thank you, sir. What's the latest on the ground operation from your perspective? So our mission is continuing. It's uh, it's the new year around the world, but in Israel, it feels like October 87th, 87 days since Hamas plowed through our borders, killing children in front of their parents, parents in front of their children, beheading, raping, and mutilating. And we're plowing ahead with our mission. We have two New Year's resolutions. One, to destroy Hamas, their uh, military capabilities and their government. And two, to bring home every last hostage. None of us are free until all of us are free. Any progress on bringing home more of those hostages, sir? Well, what we've learned from the past is that nothing but pressure uh, works on Hamas. So when we had that agreement back in November, we saw that we literally had to bring Hamas down to their knees before they begged us for a bit of respite, for uh, a timeout, and then we were able. So now we're pushing forward. As you know, there's a continuous fighting in the north, in the center, and in the south of Gaza. And we are going uh, after every one of those perpetrate every one of those that perpetrated the October 7th massacre to ensure that, uh, you know, this year and years to come will be peaceful um, and more secure for uh, Israeli children and Gazan children. Prime Minister Netanyahu says Israel must control Gaza's border with Egypt, saying, quote, the Philadelphia corridor, or to put it more correctly, the southern stoppage point of Gaza must be in our hands. It must be shut. It is clear that any other arrangement would not ensure the demilitarization that we seek. Would you further explain why that is so critical? Yeah, I mean, the day after Hamas, my prime minister has made it very clear, we're going to need to demilitarize, we're going to need to de-radicalize, and Hamas will, be, will have to be rebuilt in a new vein, in a vein where they raise their children to love life more than they love death. Now, the Philadelphia co uh, corridor um, and that border with Egypt um, has been problematic in the sense that they've been bringing in a lot of the heavy machinery, a lot of the weapons uh, mm. through tunnels, smuggling, etc. And uh, if we don't uh, have security control um, over Gaza, uh, uh, over that uh, um, our side of the border over there, then that will just mean that uh, the future, you know, there could be more radicalized uh, uh, factions that mm -hmm. could um, threaten our country. And we can't allow that to happen. So, yeah, I mean, we're, we're saying that we're happy to give civilian control, some kind of new leadership in Gaza. Um, but we need to control security, at least for the time being, at least till we know that uh, Israeli children can sleep at night, knowing that monsters won't come and take them to tunnels in Gaza. I want to play a comment from National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, and I'll ask you to react to it. We won't believe that a reoccupation uh, of Gaza is the right uh, thing to do for the Israelis or for the people of Gaza. The president's been very clear. We don't support any reoccupation uh, of Gaza. What we do support is some sort of post-conflict governance in Gaza that meets the aspirations of the Palestinian people. And we believe that a reformed and revamped Palestinian authority is probably the best way to get at that. We're nearly out of time, but I want to get your reaction to that. So we know who the Palestinian Authority are. We know that the Palestinian Authority teaches their children to hate Israelis and to want to kill Israelis. We know that it's run by uh, their president, who wrote his PhD thesis on denial of the Holocaust, who still to this day has not condemned the October 7th massacre, and still to this day um, believes that the, much of the, what happened on October 7th didn't actually happen. They have denied okay. it publicly. So we stand shoulder to shoulder with the American administration on all of the key points, on the fact that we need to destroy Hamas okay. and we need to free every last hostage. And we will go forward until we achieve both of those goals. Abi Hyman, grateful for your time today. Wishing you the best, sir.